The JWST was built as the next generation infrared telescope to succeed the Hubble Space Telescope. It was designed and sponsored by NASA, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency to make new observations of galaxy development, the birth of stars and planets, exoplanetary systems and our own solar system conceivable for the whole scientific community worldwide. Webb's development and operating costs eventually totaled approximately 10 billion US dollars, significantly above the original 1 billion US dollars estimate when the project was proposed. However, the project was delayed for over a decade due to technical and managerial issues. The JWST finally kicked off its scientific operations in the summer of 2022 after its deployment into orbit and the alignment and calibration of its mirrors and sensors. Since then, the JWST has sent back the most detailed images of space. Join us as we bring you eight new James Webb Space Telescope images from deep space. Number 8. The Blast Bonanza, or NGC 1569 Thanks to the recent images, we now know that huge bubbles and superbubbles that cover the galaxy's core are blown from the neighboring dwarf galaxy NGC 1569, a hub of intense star formation activity. It reveals a clearer insight into how the galaxy's active star factories also produce dazzling blue star clusters. Given that it is one of the nearby starburst galaxies, NGC 1569 is a particularly apt illustration. It is home to several minor star clusters and two highly noticeable young massive clusters. The smaller ones are akin to the less massive open clusters nearby. In contrast, the two young massive clusters mirror the globular star clusters we see in our Milky Way galaxy. The earliest supernovae erupted around 20 to 25 million years ago, when the most massive stars approached the end of their lives. The bubble-like formations shown in this picture are comprised of hydrogen gas, which glows when impacted by the powerful winds, radiation and shock waves from newborn blazing stars. The supernovae may provide more than just the gaseous building blocks required for constructing other stars and star clusters in NGC 1569. Still, they may also cause their birth in the torturous gas spirals. It explains a lot. However, astronomy still has many unanswered concerns about galaxy formation, evolution and timing. Number 7. Tadpole Spiral Galaxy Leta 36252 One of the furthest galaxies ever observed by any scientist or researcher is the Tadpole Spiral Galaxy. It was produced by the collision of two galaxies millions of years ago. The weaker galaxy was destroyed after the galaxy's collision and stars were hurled out onto the tail, which is why the galaxy has a tail. The length of the tail alone is 280,000 light years. Numerous blue star clusters may be seen in the tail, some of which may have formed due to star collisions. Blue stars are the hottest stars in the universe and they are often young, although they might seem young and hot when one star eats another. Eventually, these blue stars will cool and turn into red stars. It is nearly three times the length of the Milky Way galaxy. The galaxy's diameter is 172.34 kiloparsecs or 562,097 light years. The galaxy would seem different to us on Earth if we were closer to it. The tail may have vanished, leaving behind tiny satellite galaxies or rogue stars that exist independently and outside a galaxy. Number 6. Southern Ring Nebula NGC 3132 The new research by the JWST and other observatories uncovers characteristics of the NGC 3132 that have never been seen before in a planetary nebula. According to the latest data, the nebula's central star, a white dwarf roughly half the size of the Sun, is not the only star in the system. There are swirls among layers of gas and dust expelled by this star 
as though a companion star mingled the nebula. About the same distance as Pluto is from the Sun, this low-mass companion circles the white dwarf at a distance of 40 to 60 AU. Given the amount of detail, we can see how the ancient red giant passed through calm and busy ejector phases. The stars reveal layers of ejecta, which will help astronomers better understand how the star changed throughout its last stages. A dusty disk of material generally created by a near companion is present closer to the White Dwarf. The Southern Ring Nebula is one of 109 nebulae in the Caldwell Objects Collection. Additional research will look at the nebula's chemical makeup and aid in understanding how these stars provide the galaxy with heavier materials. Number 5. JWST Deep Survey Early philosophers believed that humanity was at the centre of the universe, putting Earth at the centre of the universe. This perplexing misconception persists to this day in enigmatic people. So many questions about galaxies have been waiting for the revolutionary chance of better telescopes, eventually making the truth visible. Studying the early galaxies in the universe is one of the JWST's primary goals. In nature, a lot of things pretend to be something else. We only get close to the truth once scientists put their knowledge to use. The oldest galaxies in the universe began to send forth photons some 13 billion years ago. In recent months, some photons stopped on the beryllium mirrors with gold plating on the James Webb Space Telescope. The JWST collected these initial photons over a period of days to produce its first deep field picture. The findings will aid astronomers in reconstructing the development of galaxies and the history of the universe. Even though these ancient galaxies are so faint, JWST was designed to locate them. Number 4. Galaxy NGC 4214 this optical and near-infrared view shows luminous stellar clusters of NGC 4214, voids cleared of gas by stellar winds and intricate patterns of glowing hydrogen created during the star birthing process. This galaxy is an excellent laboratory to study the causes of star formation and development because of its near proximity and the range of evolutionary phases among the stars. It is located around 10 million light-years distant. Young stars and gas clouds are blazing across the dwarf galaxy NGC 4214. This dwarf galaxy has also been seen to contain clusters of considerably older red supergiant stars. Older stars may be observed scattered here and there around the cosmos. This galaxy also has a vast range of stars at various life stages. The abundance of hydrogen in the galaxy ensures that star formation will continue into the future. The diversity of stars at different phases of their development suggests that the recent and current starburst eras are not the first. Number 3. The Cigar Galaxy in Messier 82 Famous French astronomer Charles Messier saw many nebulous objects in the night sky during the 18th century. After first mistaking these objects for comets, he started cataloguing them to prevent others from making the same error. He compiled a list of the most important libraries of deep space items. Today, the list known as the Messier Catalog contains over 100 objects. One of these objects is Messier 82, a starburst galaxy known as the Cigar Galaxy because of its unusual form. M82 is now known to be the brightest galaxy in the infrared. It displays an infrared surplus, appearing significantly more radiant in the infrared than in the visible range. This galaxy is known for its intense star formation and is the model for the Seyfert class of galaxy. The starburst activity of this galaxy, roughly 12 million light years distant in the constellation Ursa Major, is considered to have been brought on by interactions with the nearby galaxy M81. Its collision with M81 completely damaged it, 
and now it crackles with radioactivity. Number 2. Hockey Stick Galaxy NGC 4656 NGC 4656 is a warped edge on spiral galaxy, dubbed the Hockey Stick Galaxy. The galaxy is fashioned like an extended warped stick, reaching out into space till it curves around at one end to make a remarkable copy of a cosmic hockey stick. A recent gravitational encounter with the galaxy NGC 4631 gave it its peculiar form. The explanation for this is apparent from this partial perspective, which only displays the brilliant middle area. These two galaxies could be in the beginning stages of merging, however this needs to be clarified. It's possible that the hazy object in the upper left corner is not a component of the galaxy itself, but rather a dwarf galaxy interacting with NGC 4656. A celestial object's form may be totally altered by galactic interactions, which can also twist and distort the gas, stars and dust that make up the object into strange and fascinating arrangements. Number 1. A Whirl of Colours or NGC 6753 The NGC 6753, which is a whirl of colour, was first captured by the Hubble Space Telescope although it was more extensive than what the Hubble Space Telescope could see. Thankfully, the JWST is here to give us a more precise and detailed image of this galaxy. NGC 6753 is one of only two spiral galaxies that are both huge and nearby enough to allow for an in-depth examination of their coronas. It is 150 million light-years away from Earth. The bursts of blue that appear throughout the spiral arms are areas where young stars emit bright ultraviolet light. At the same time, the redder regions are home to older stars emitting cooler near-infrared light. Huge, unseen hot gas regions called galactic coronas encircle a galaxy's visible core, giving it a spheroidal shape. Far beyond the galaxy's visual radius, Coronas are so hot that their X-ray emission may be used to identify them. These coronas are really hard to find since they are so thin. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.